Um, so looking at number 19, number 19 tells us something that's kind of interesting. It says f of square root of 3 is equal to 0. Right? Now there's something that we talked about as far as our characteristics of polynomials. When we know f of something was equal to 0, what does that tell us about x equal to square root of 3? Yes. Not a factor. Same, around the same idea, though. Because that's not a factor. It's a root. It's a root, or a 0, which we used technically, you know, definitely. But root 0, you know, they can be interchangeable for a set. But yeah, that means it's a root 0. Now, if this is our root or 0, then that means also that this is a factor. Or you could have used the factor theorem. And if you guys remember what the factor theorem says, which was on your notes, the factor theorem says if I give you a factor, then f of that value is equal to 0. OK? Now, there's an interesting thing. So the, this question is saying, what is everything that is, uh, which statement is not necessarily true? So what that means is we got to cross out things that we know are true, right? So right now, this is true. We know that's true. So C is not the answer, because we know that has to be true. Um, x minus 3 has to be a factor. So we know, or x minus square root of 3, I'm sorry, has to be a factor. So B is not, is not an answer. And if we know that x minus square root of 3 is a factor, then we also know that the x plus square root of 3 has to be a factor. Right? So we have the conjugate has to exist. So therefore, we know A is not the answer. So now we're looking at, well, then um, what could it be? x squared plus 3 or x squared minus 3? Remember, if you multiply two factors, depending on the degree of the polynomial, that could also be, that could also be a factor of the polynomial. So if we were to multiply x minus square root of 3 times x plus the square root of 3, I'm assuming you guys can do this work in your head, and you get x squared minus 3. No, we already have one factor, and we already have another factor. We know these, fact these have to be factors. Given this information, this has to be true, this has to be true, this has to be true. Correct? Yes. What do you, this is, we already know, if you're given this formula we just talked about, then that means that's a 0. That's if that's a 0, then that means that's a factor. If that's a factor, that means that has to be a factor as well. These are all true. Have to be true. Now, if we multiply these two, right? If these two are factors and that's a fa and these two are factors, um, then obviously when we multiply them, that also gives us a factor, right? It could be a factor of one, like, but it also gives us, or I mean, it also gives us a factor. And so therefore, the answer d, which is x squared plus three, we have no, like, that could be a factor. That's why I say it's not necessarily true. It could be a factor. We don't know. We don't know what the polynomial is, right? I mean, if the polynomial was x squared minus 3, well, then that's not a factor. But if the polynomial was like x to the eighth power or something, x squared plus 3 could be a factor of that, right? So d is the answer in this case. All right.